Today I want to spend a few minutes talking about how you can create a video and have it uploaded automatically to Microsoft Teams. So for this video I'm going to be switching back and forth between my phone app and the uh, Microsoft Teams app that I have opened up here on my desktop. And in this case here I have a team set up called test and you can see it's the same that I have on my desktop version. So within my phone for this purpose, uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to select videos. Notice I have two channels. I have one called general and a second called videos. This works for any channel that you set up, but for this example, I'm going to select videos. I'm going to select videos here on my desktop and I've selected videos here for on my cell phone. Now I'm going to start a meeting in Microsoft Teams and I'm going to do that by going to the top of my phone here, top of the app, where it has an icon that looks like a camera. When I select that icon, I get this message. And it's basically an option here if you want to invite others. But for our purposes, if you're just creating your own video, of course, you don't need to invite anyone. And at the bottom here, I'm going to select join. So I'm going to join here by myself. Now, the meeting has started because we have a message here at the very top that gives you a counter how long the meeting has been open. Now, at this point, depending on the assignment, let's say you want to create a video, you're going to need to do two things here at the bottom. Actually, three things. The first is to activate your microphone, which I've done by selecting the microphone icon at the bottom. And then I'm also going to turn on my camera. Now, when we watch this video later, and see the um, the video, the, it's going to be a little shaky here because I'm moving my phone around. But now I'm recording a meeting directly within Microsoft Teams. And you'll notice that there's also been some activity here on my desktop. Okay, so again, I've done everything through my phone, but it's also occurring here within the desktop. Now, before I start my presentation, for example, or the video, let's say I, I need to uh, create an assignment where I have to create a video, I need to record my video. So I'm not recording yet. I'm in the meeting, but I haven't started yet recording. So I'm going to select the ellipsis option here at the bottom, the three dots, and I'm given some options here that I can scroll down, and I'm going to select record. So I've selected record and at the top you should get a message saying that in fact you are recording. So now at this point I am recording, I have my video on, my, my microphone is activated and, my, and I am recording this, this session. So at this point you record your session and once you've completed the session, once you've completed the recording, then I would do two things. I would first stop the recording. So at the bottom again, I'm going to select the ellipsis, the three dots. Scroll down where I'm given the option here to stop recording. I should get some kind of message or a notification towards the top that I, in, in fact, stopped the recording. And the last step here, in fact, it'll prompt me, are you sure? I said yes. Now I've stopped recording. <clears throat> Now I need to close the session. So at the, again, again at the bottom, I have a, an icon here, the phone icon that I'm going to press to close the session. So now I'm leaving the session and I've completed the video. So notice that all of the steps that I follow that I'm selecting here on my cell phone, you are also seeing some activity going on here in the desktop version. Depending on the length of the video, you will get a prompt once the video has been completed. Once it's completely rendered, you'll have an option. And you'll notice here in this case, it says it's saving. This video at the top I did earlier, and this is what it looks like when it's, when it's been completed. But again, depending on activity, online activity, depending on how long the video is, will determine how long it takes before you have access to this video. In this case, it shouldn't take that long since the video was rather short, but we'll wait here and see how long this takes. All right, while we wait, 
if you go under files again i'm in the same channel that i where i created the videos if i go into files automatically teams will create a folder called recordings and this is another place where you can access all of your recordings so in this case i have two recordings in this folder they also are the same two recordings that exist here under the post so here i've got the videos i can access them here or i can access them directly from here all right so uh that's one easy way i think to create a video automatically here within teams of course you can create a video separately if you have an app installed on your cell phone and you want to create a video locally first and then upload it to microsoft teams uh, you can certainly do that as well you can go to files and upload select files and then from there you can upload uh, the video file directly now depending on the size could determine if you you know if you have a slow internet connection it could take a while to upload a video separately like that but i want to give you two options here show you two different ways of creating a video within microsoft teams one is more direct using your cell phone to create a meeting and record yourself and then of course you can also record it separately on your own uh, phone and depending on the assignment you know and if you create a video once and you don't like it you can always go under uh, the recordings here and delete the file and do it again so i hope this helps this has been just a quick video showing you the steps involved in creating a video directly within microsoft teams